Hi everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colour and Kid. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my colour combinations for the month of June, which I love to do every month now. And I was inspired by Emma from Emma Colours 2020. And as well as sharing them in the video, if you're interested in actually looking at my um, colour combinations in more detail, I always put the PDF in the description because I realised that sharing them in the video, it's not the best. Um, to actually be able to see what I've actually written down um, so yeah that's in the description for you if you're interested and I have been doing these since January now so um, it's turning into a proper mini series which I'm enjoying so I'm going to be sharing three pages that I've recorded colours for um, all Ruth Berman actually um, in June but um, I really enjoyed doing all of them let me find the page so this is um, the page for my combinations this month. I'm going to be starting off with um, my Summer Spazia Gang by Rita Berman. Now, I will say that if I have a colour combination that I've already used on a page, I don't bother recording it again. So if you're interested in seeing things um, and how I've coloured them and they're not in this video, chances are they are probably in one of the other videos and I will let you know. So the page is this one. Now, I've barely written anything down for this one because pretty much everything else, aside from the bright leaves, the green gauges, um, and like tiny leaves and stuff like that, they have all been coloured before on this page. And, that, and this was from May, so those will all be in May colour combinations. So everything like the fire... Um, the fire no i used the fire color from black widows no the strawberries the berries um the cherries those sorts of things are all going to be um or oh, and the blackberries as well they're all going to be in that video so what i've written down are actually the leaf um color combinations because i really really liked how i did them so these leaves here um forest leaf green green grass washed green they are these leaves let me hold it up they are these leaves here and i was really pleased with how they turned out and then i also recorded these ones which on camera may not look that different but they've definitely got more of a sort of mint green tone to them they were this color combination here and then I also wrote down the colour I used for the background because I actually really liked the pink colour that I picked. So that's pretty much everything for that. I used Black Widow pencils exclusively for this. I'm pretty sure I didn't even use luminance um, in conjunction with them. Just used the Black Widows. So if you are interested in looking at alternatives to these pencils if you don't have them, um, my Colourful Country Life has um, her conversion chart which I think I always link in the description as well, so you can find that. But this was a very fun one to do, and as I said with this, a lot of the colours were the same, so it was basically red, pink and um, green, with a few purple accents. But it was a very minimal colour palette, and I really enjoyed doing that one. So moving on to the poppy page now, so these colour combinations. So the combinations for everything, I, I think I wrote down everything actually because there weren't many elements and I did really like how they turned out so this one again sort of a minimal colour palette as well I used Black Widows and my um, Luminance and I think I used no I didn't use the original I don't think I got the the green pencil when I was doing this page so for the poppy, this is a different combination to what I did last time with this picture when I coloured it about three years ago. Um, but they are here. Um, and as a side note, if you haven't watched one of these videos before and you don't know how my system works with the um, coding, I guess, um, that's what I do. B is for base, so that's the base colour that I use. S is for shadow. H is for highlight, although I don't think I've got any here. And anything that's sort of in italics is usually an extra. So if there's a particular way I've blended it, like here with the Caran Blender that I want to remember, then I do that. Um, equally, if there's a fine liner or um, a paint pen or something like that, it's usually in italics, but not always. But I always specify what it is anyway. So 
it goes down in order so if i've got a color that's a blend uh, a base i do the base first and then work my way down and then if there's a shadow i will add um the shadow on top that's just how um how that works the wheat color i really liked so i wanted to write that down not just to use for wheat though that's the thing i would definitely use this combination again for other stuff and i'm actually coloring a picture at the moment um which i think is in the italian section of the mine riser decky robe so i actually think this would be perfect for pasta and things like that so i might use that color palette again um then we've got the flower which was one of my favorite color combinations that i've done actually um this one here so it was the luminance crimson aubergine which was like the main shadow color and then fairy floss and light yellow so yellow i really like using as a base sometimes when i'm coloring pink things because it just really works um and I do it a lot with purple as well because they're opposites. And what else does it work with? Oh, I use it sometimes for leaves. I do yellow as a base and then do the green on top. I actually did do that with um, some of these. So that's really how I go about it. Um, the background was golden light yellow. That was just really simple. You could easily do that with pastel if you wanted to and then in terms of the leaf color combinations they're all sort of merged in so it's hard to tell what's what but i will tell you them now so they all had cool green as a base however the earth green was sort of the main blender i guess you'd say and i did also use the gold so i'm not sure why i didn't write that down um definitely did i mean it's it's not really a big deal like i will always remember that for next time when i color it but yeah i probably used gold for uh, i don't know which one would it have been this one leaf green earth green cool green so i definitely used gold as the the blender but yeah essentially they're all the same palette just with a different deep tone and they're all very different so the leaf green is more of an olive color green grass is more of a brighter green truer green and then the charcoal greens are very gray green so they all gave a different effect which i really liked so that is pretty much everything for that picture very simple and yeah i've again enjoyed doing that one and i'm glad that i've got the combos for that because as i said that flower was one of my favorites and then we've got my final picture, the Parallel Worlds um, picture. Also, I um, don't always show every picture that I do in a month and I don't always write colour combinations down for every picture. That's just because if there are things that I know um, I'm probably not going to colour again or things that I'm not really worried about remembering the colour palette for, then I don't really bother writing it down because it does take me a lot of extra time, um, which I don't really have. And also, some pages I just think well as i said like with the elements that are on the picture what's the likelihood of me actually um coloring it again if it's sort of a, a one-off thing um so it tends to be that actually in the books that i color in the most um like you saw with the um berry page i don't need to keep repeating the elements because i wrote them down to begin with because i knew they repeat a lot um in different pages so this one was a lot of fun and I used quite a few different um, colours um, that I would no wouldn't normally put together as well. So I really like how it turned out. So I did pick up a few erogeton pencils as open stock in June. I think I got four and I used the Campanula Blue, I hope I'm saying that right, for the main sort of sky base. So... That was really fun to do because I just felt like it worked really well on this paper. Even though they're really hard pencils, it worked well as a blender. And I would definitely be interested in um, getting some more in the future to work in my Rita Ben books. I really liked them. So the sky, this is a little bit complicated in terms of what I did. I hope you can see that if you can't. Obviously the PDF is in the description. So I used Cat's Eye as the base for this one. The Campanula Blue for the base for this one, and then Light Cobalt Blue, which is a luminance pencil, as a base for this one. And then as the shadow colour for all of them, I used Dark Knight. So that's really what it was. It, it, the fact is, the, the difference between 
the sky colours. It's just one single colour for each of them. So it's not like I used about five different colours for the background. It was actually really simple to do. It just looks a bit complicated <laughs> written down. The mountains were very simple. That's a simple colour palette. So are the, the, the mountains with the green. I used the same colour up here as I did down here. And I didn't write down the green that I used. This sort of brighter green here just because... All it is is a reworking of the colour palette I've already written down. So sometimes when I've got little elements to colour on a page that are left and I'm not really sure what to do, I tend to just pick colours that I've already used and make them slightly different so that it is still cohesive. Um, the hot air balloon, again, very simple. I did add some Posca pen and fine liner in certain areas that I wanted to keep written down. The houses here... Now, I actually think that if you layered them slightly differently, these would actually work really well as um, skin tones. So maybe not the pink one with the um, pink shading, but this one I used um, washed purple as the shadow colour. So I think it would actually work quite well. I haven't really coloured skin with Black Widow pencils before, so I'm not sure how... Oh, no, I have. That's... Light. Now I have used them a little bit but nothing like a big portrait. So we've got brown bug chestnut mushroom, that's the red. This colour palette as I said was for the more purpley um, building whereas the fairy floss one, which they're exactly the same, just fairy floss and wash purple are the only difference, that's the more pink one and then I used a fine liner as well for some areas. The blue border was Again, a reworking of colours that I'd already used, pretty much. Um, I didn't want it to look exactly the same as any of the skies that I've already done. So I decided to add in a new colour, so I got um, Pleasant Blue in there, which is mainly for the blending colour. But as you can see from what I've written down, hardly any of it was pencil, really. I used pencil for this part and the insides of the, I don't really know what, what they are, the patterns. But aside from that, it's white gel pen a Posca pen and fine liner so that was very relaxing to do and then the ground I decided to keep written down because I quite liked how the cobblestone and brown fog came together and um, that was what I used for this ground and then this ground was the same with a different colour um, in there which I didn't really need to write down because again it was one of those moments where I needed to colour the, the ground but I didn't want it looking exactly the same so I just added um, an ochre colour in there. So yeah, that's everything for June. I already know for a fact there's going to be quite a few pages for July, hopefully, because now I have more time because I'm off. So um, yeah, I do really enjoy recording my colour combinations and for a while I didn't do it and actually it has hindered me quite a lot because I am either asked about particular um, pages that I've coloured and what I've used and I haven't written it down or I'm trying to remember what I've used and I can usually judge from looking at my pages what pencils I've used but sometimes if I don't use the pencils as much I'm not sure so it's actually helpful for starters using just um, Black Widows um, and Luminance and maybe a couple of other pencils thrown in there just in my Rita Bourbon books because it does mean that it's a little bit easier to track so yeah as I said if you're interested in the berry um, combinations in particular they are the May colour combinations everything here which is in that video but yeah that's everything that I have to share with you thank you so much for watching bit of a shorter video these usually are because um, well, as I said, that I kind of just want to talk through it so that it's not as confusing when you see the PDF. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love hearing from you. And, yeah, we'll see you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.